Got a little tip here. I think it's worth a video regardless of how useful it is. I'd love for you to tell me if you think this is worth it. This kind of stuff happens all the time. And I'm just going to go on the record and say, this is why I'm often overly hesitant to incorporate new ideas into my pugging, especially late in the season. We're only two weeks into the season. So obviously I'm trying anything and everything. But this was suggested by a couple longtime viewers who said they saw this done and it seemed like it cut tons of time off the boss. My initial thought was like, oh, we pulled trash into bosses all the time. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Well, let's take a look at what actually unfolds then i'll explain everything and you guys can tell me what your thoughts are on this and at worst we educated a few people who might be looking for a little bit of an edge maybe they cast it at low hp yeah they never cast it i don't think oh they probably do look at they have this health bar thing that's probably what it is you don't just straight up pull them with it yeah, that's what it is Not doing much anyway. Making the fight a lot fucking harder. Okay, I saw something just happen. Is that it? Like, I just can't survive this fight now. A lot of casts went out from the Geomancers. Right, yeah. If you had one debuff, it probably doesn't stack. That's like a pretty advanced strategy, then it seems like that's not really worth it. Okay, so you probably can't tell what happened. Let's go through it all in depth. There's these two mobs, Berserkers, and as you can see on Plater, they actually have a little bar indicating 40% health. That's important because that's when they cast their Enrage, and their Enrage is something that actually gets mirrored to everybody around them. Now, the Enrage is specific because it's not just a damage done thing, but it's also a damage taken thing. You'll see it here. The one is about to hit 40. He's going to cast Brutal Slam first, which is going to push him below 40, and then he will cast Reckless Rage or something like that. Now, the problem with this is he casts the spell and the boss does not get the debuff. So I don't understand what's happening here. You'll see him cast the spell. It's about to happen right now. He's going to cast the spell and then you're going to see I target the boss here. And as you can see, I do not see a debuff on him. So he did not get it. I did not get a chance to actually like hover over the debuff. But when I was told about it, people told me that it is a 50% damage buff both a buff and damage taken increase. There's an ability called Reckless Rage from something. I don't know where this is from, but there's something in the game named this, but I believe that this is the spell ID that this is using. This is only 20% damage done and 20% damage taken. So it's a 20% damage buff to the boss, but it also makes the boss take 20% more damage if it works. It doesn't actually apply to him on this first time. Doesn't seem like they're gonna cast it a second time either. They're up the whole time here. I'm not exactly sure if they will cast it a second time, but you're gonna see the other one does cast it and now every time i target a mob they have it and actually one of the mobs had two stacks of the buff so i guess if you have two stacks of the buff that's probably a 40 percent damage taken thing but that's also a 40 percent damage done thing now ideally you'd probably do that to the totem and the totem would get instantly killed the boss would get slaughtered you do this with bloodlust but that would also mean that the totem which is notable for how much damage you're taking the whole time during it is doing 40 percent more damage so you guys tell me what do you think you think this is a good pug strategy i tried it i thought this would be a slam dunk i thought it'd be easy the trash is hard on its own because it also does that little ground slam thing and I got stunned by it on the first pull and we ended up dying because I couldn't get threat on anything while I was stunned. The whole group's going to have to avoid it and on top of that you're going to have to pull them at the right time. If you pull them at 100% health this is totally ineffective like that's definitely not the way to do it. You probably want to pull them right at 50% and then hopefully both of them will do it at the exact same time and the boss will get a 40% damage taken buff and also again 40% damage done buff if it works that way and you'll just have to deal with that. You'll have it's 30 second debuff so you'll have all that time with the boss doing extra damage and that'll just be on you to survive on the group to survive provided by you know it's going to actually go on the ads as well so that's what we were saying in the footage like you have to interrupt the cast now the casts are all of a sudden extremely dangerous so i just want to share you guys in this information but it can take a lot of time off the fight some people in the stream said it you know they cut the fight down into sub one minute i think with bloodlust you know that's probably very true and it could be very valuable especially on tyrannical week when the trash is a lot easier but this is ultimately going to break up this party and like i said this is the the kind of reason why I don't try things like this late in the season because it's far more likely to break up groups. So let me know what you guys think about that. If you think it's worth doing for your Mythic Plus Pugs, let me know. I'd love to hear some thoughts on that or if you guys think it's just probably too risky for Pugs, maybe that's the case.